So, how was it at the bit? Have a grand old time? Don't even start, Pickles. You'd think they'd come up with a more dignified way to check a cat's temperature by now. But no, it's always the same thing. Straight to the backside. The whole vet's office heard me screaming. I think even the dogs in the waiting room took a moment of silence out of respect. Oh no, I remember them doing that to me. First, they're putting that cold stethoscope to your chest. Then they jab their fingers in your belly to feel your guts. And when you think it's all over, nope, it's tail up, dignity down. It's humiliating. One minute you're a proud, noble feline. And the next, you're a fur-covered pincushion with a thermometer sticking out of your ass. Then they have the nerve to give you treats afterwards, like that somehow makes it better. Oh, the pity treats. Like a few stale snacks can erase the trauma. It's like they think they can buy back our dignity with a couple of crunchy bits. We're cats, not dirty sellouts. If they ever want us to respect them, they better start coming up with a more respectable way to take our temperature. Well, until they do, we'll keep complaining about it in the meantime. I miss the days when our biggest problem was which sunbeam to nap in. Or running out of kibble. Yeah, now it's more like, congratulations, you're officially a senior cat. Here's a lifetime supply of vet pokes and pity treats. If this is what getting older means, I'm filing a complaint with the universe. Good luck with that. Last I heard, they're still on hold with the dog department.